hello everyone I'm making a hair bow today like this one and this was made using absolutely no template no sewing just all made from scratch by hand so the only tools you really need are obviously your fabric your hot glue gun super glue for the embellishments and whichever embellishments you're using so it's a nice little beginners bow making tutorial and for the one I'm going to show you in the tutorial I'm using this little girl she's got a lovely sort of terracotta coloured hair so I'm going to be using this ribbon because I thought that went well with her and I'm going to be using this off-white glitter as I did in the last bow all of the supplies that I'm using today were from Aliexpress these little girl flat backs they come in a variety of colours I will post everything that I've used in the description below, all the links, you can check those out. So first of all, to make the top part of our bow, the glitter loops, usually you'd use a template for those, but you just want to find something around the house, which has got a round, nice solid round base that you can draw around. Now this could be um, a spool for maybe from a reel of ribbon, or if you've got a reel of sellotape, a small reel of sellotape, you could possibly draw around as long as it's perfectly round. But this glass, this is just like a standard glass. I thought these are quite common. I wanted to try and find something common that people would just have around the house. And this glass is ideal, the bottom of it. The actual size of the base is five and a half centimetres or around two inches. So first of all, taking the glitter fabric and your cup or whichever you're going to be using to draw around, I'm going to place that onto our glitter fabric and you want to draw around it so that you've got, can you see, you can't see, can you? Because the cup is tapered. So I'm leaving about a centimetre gap on this outer edge and I'm going to draw around the base of my cup. that and then taking a ruler so my fabric is lined up straight along this edge I'm going to place my ruler across that's so on the bottom of this circle and I'm also using the lines on my board to make sure that my ruler is straight and I'm going to place my next circle next to it so when I draw around it I need to leave a little bit of a gap because it has the pen falls it comes just away so we've got another centimetre gap across the middle and I'm going to draw around my cup so that I know it's nice and straight across so I'm just going to hold that in place gone a little bit wobbly here because the base of this cup is rounded it's quite difficult to draw around so if you've got a cup with a flatter base that would be a bit easier but this will work fine now we're going to find the center so the center of this circle is there. So yeah, about where this dot is, is where the centre is. So half a centimetre down from the centre here, I'm going to draw a line. Also on the edges for the tabs at the end. And then we're going to draw another line 
just above that. And just look at this point to make sure that these do look central, central to the loops. You don't want the loops to be thicker one side than the other. So that is why we measure the center here across to get these parts level. Next, we're going to cut these out. So we're going to carefully cut inside of the pen line. That won't matter about the dots here or the little overlap bits here because they won't show when the bow is made. But these edge pieces, I do like to cut inside the pen line just to make sure that we're not going to see it when the bow is made. So this is what we've got now, ready to make our loops. First of all, I'm going to measure how wide these have come out, which was around 14 centimeters in length. Now, when it comes to making your base bow, you want to basically cut it a couple of centimeters longer than your template. I'm just going to start by leveling off this end. And then I'm going to cut this to around 16 centimeters in length. And you need two pieces. And then we're going to heat seal those ends on that ribbon. Now this is a three centimeter wide ribbon. You could use four centimeter wide. That's completely up to you. And I'm just going to break off a length of thread and pop that to the side here. That is going to be to wrap around the centre of our ribbon to hold it in place. And then I've got some all-purpose UHU adhesive. So taking one of my pieces, I'm going to fold it in half, marking the centre. And then on that centre crease, pop a little bit of my all-purpose adhesive. And I'm going to bring this side in just overlap that center by around a half a centimeter and then some more adhesive again overlap the center by around a half a centimeter so you've got this kind of shape I'm going to do the same with the other piece I did buy a new tube of the all-purpose adhesive because that one's gone a bit sticky at the end because I've had it a while. And you know what, I've misplaced it. I cannot find it anywhere. I'm sure that'll turn up when I'm not looking for it. So now I'm just gonna make sure that these are the same. Yep, they are, they're the same width. I'm gonna pop the lid on my glue. I'm gonna give that a wipe and give that a clean. Right now we're ready to make the pinch in the middle and again I am making this so you don't need any templates, no sewing involved. So we're going to make a pinch in one side and then the other. So first of all, on the centre of the overlap, the centre of the ribbon, you want to fold it inwards like that and then either side 
downwards so it looks like this and then picking up the other piece so this is the center you can fold it in half if you want and give it another little squeeze so you can see where the center is you want to have this side going downwards so it finishes off like this one so we're going to push that against that piece of ribbon and then push it down in the middle and then the outside piece down so you've got that nice pinch in the middle and then taking the piece of thread leaving enough to tie off I'm going to lay it over the centre of the bow, keep that thumb there to keep it pinched together, so it's like that, and place that back over the top. And I'm just going to lay it on my desk, so this goes across the centre, lay it down onto my desk, move my fingers over slightly so I can bring this around the centre, and then making sure that's central, which it is, and then going to pull it tight. And tie that off in a knot so you've got this lovely little double tux bow and that is going to be our base bow now we're ready to glue our glitter loops And then bring those into the center now what I like to do is leave a slight overlap from the front side this is going to be the front of the bow and there's a slight overlap that is just how I like to do it that way when you flip it over you're not going to see too much of the underside of the bow so it looks like that on the underside and then this is the top side and now we're ready to place that on the top of our loops. So I'm just going to stick some glue on the underside and place that on our ribbon bow. And I'm just going to use a little bit of scrap fabric. cut a strip and this will be to wrap around the center you won't actually see this part because we're going to cover it with our embellishment and I've got a 45 millimeter double pronged clip already lined with a sort of off-white ribbon you don't have to line your clips that is just what I like to do I'm just going to place that underneath and then I'm going to wrap my center with this little piece of strip. This is cut to five centimeters in length, just in case you need to know the measurements for that. I'm just going to place that on the underside of the bow, making sure that they're central. And then I'm going to start wrapping around the middle. If you do need to cut off any excess, you can. You want just enough to be able to fold it back underneath that clip. And note that when I pinch my clip, I'm pinching the ribbon part and not the loops because you don't want to flatten these. Because once you do flatten these and you keep getting that crease in it, that unfortunately will permanently stay in there. And that doesn't look so nice. You want to keep that nice rounded loop. And now we're ready to add our little girl in the center so to put her on i'm going to use my gorilla super glue gel i'm just going to give it a shake i'm just going to pop some glue on the underside Place that on the centre 
and just hold her there for a couple of few seconds just to make sure the glue bonds. And then I've got these Polly McClay pieces. I bought these in separate bags, but I placed them in this little container. So I've got these stars, pink, red and white hearts, and then these nice brighter hearts and little snowflakes as well. I also got these from AliExpress. So again, I will link these in the description under the video. So I'm going to take three hearts for the corner here. I always work in odd numbers, so three or five preferably. And then we'll go for a baby pink and a yellow. And I'm going to stick my hearts in the corner. So to add our little hearts, I've got my little tweezers here. I'm going to pick up one at a time. So we'll go for the pink one first. I'm going to pop a little bit of the glue gel. You do have to give this a good shake. I have already done that. I'm going to place this first heart in the corner. And there you have your finished hair bow with no template, no sewing involved whatsoever. Just a nice simple little make for beginners. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you press the bell button, that will turn on notifications. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye bye.